team of the year is here. So make sure you guys go get your coins at IG Vault by using the link in the description. They have a fully automated system. You guys can see the stage of the process of your coins going into your account. And as always, when you do use the code PENGUIN, you can get money off your order. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to yet again another FIFA 17 sniping from scratch video. We're going to be starting this episode on 35,000 coins and due to the new petite squad builder challenge, we're going to be sniping some Monaco players. Of course, as always guys, if you do enjoy this video, it would be greatly appreciated if you could show your support by smashing the like button. 1,800 likes would be greatly appreciated. And of course, as always, I'll put a link in the description to App Bounty where you guys can get yourself some free Microsoft points and PSN codes, all the information in the description, like I said, and using the code PENGUIN will start you off some bonus points. But anyway, without any further ado, as you guys can see, the filter I have got set up right now is AS Monaco players, regardless of their quality, for 2,300 coins. And as you can see, not too many of them on the market. So we'll be sniping them at around 1.5k and should make some pretty decent profit from that. And again, we'll go for around 30 minutes in this episode and hopefully be very successful. Here we go, the very- Oh my god! Oh my days! 750 coins for a gold player! As always, just this is just routine now with this series. We missed the very first snipe of the episode. Let me see. No! Okay, around 3,000 coins this guy looks to be going for, so... Pretty decent profit, whoever got that snipe right there. Unfortunately, it wasn't us. We'll carry on, and like I said, hopefully get some decent snipes. I really wasn't that quick on that snipe, so I can't be too um, unhappy with that. Just warming up, I suppose it is, very early on in the episode. And uh, here's another one. Eight. Oh, I've bid on it. No, I've, I've completely messed it up again. Like I did say, just warming up. I'm using that as my excuse right now. I did successfully get the bid on that player. And again, at 800 coins, that would have been another fantastic snipe. 500 coins. And I've missed that one as well. Let's see what this guy's going for. Have a look at compare price. Okay, it looks like these are bids. Maybe bidding on these players would be pretty successful. But as you know, this is just a sniping series. But looks like there's not many of this guy on the market, to be honest. He's probably around 4 or 5k by the looks of things. So, again, I'm just missing out on tons of profit right now. This is not a great start to the episode. First search. Oh my days, he had been up for 20 seconds, right? Had that guy just been up for 20 seconds? I'd just been kicked out and was resetting up the filter. And for 1,500 coins, we get our first player off the video. Um, okay, it seems like they mustn't be selling instantly. Which is kind of interesting. We'll undercut a tiny bit at 2 point. In fact, 2.1k will be that guy. But we'll make around 550 coins on that trade. Maybe a bit more. But we got our first player off the episode. We missed out on all the golds. We got a bronze. Not really sure if you can count that as a snipe. I think he was up for 20 seconds. But still, profit is profit. 400! Oh my god! 400 coins for a silver player. That is quality. Again, I just got kicked out. And on the very first search, I managed to get this guy. Um, you can see that he's got a bid of 2.5k. I'm actually going to check for his lowest price. Because I want to be maximising my profit on these snipes. Looks like he's around 2.5. So, I guess we'll list him up for 2.3. Another player who we've managed to snipe on the very first search. Again, I think he was up for around 5 seconds. So, maybe there isn't as much competition on this filter as I first thought. People are going to be getting home from school soon. So, I'm not sure whether that's going to make it easier to snipe or harder. 1.3k. And again, I was absolutely rapid on that snipe. Um, another silver player. I don't know why the market was going a bit slow there. But we'll go check his price. Let's see how many coins he is selling for. Okay, so not many of this guy up on the market. Unfortunately, though, only 2.5 thousand coins. So, even though he's got so few cards on the market, he's a similar price to all of the others. Um, we'll undercut again slightly for 100 coins. List him up for 2.4k. So, at least 1,000 coin profit on that snipe. Right, so as you guys can see, after sniping for around 15 minutes, we've managed to get three successful snipes. They have all now sold on the market. Two silver players and one bronze. Made some pretty decent profits so far in this episode, like I said. Around halfway through time-wise, unless we want to go for a bit longer. 
and uh, we've missed out on some very good snipes as well. So potentially from this episode so far, if we would have successfully sniped every player, probably could have made around 15k. 1k, oh my god, oh no, Sibiday, I know this guy sells for a lot of coins. I think he's in excess of 5,000, you know. 3.8k, okay, nowhere near as bad as he was yesterday. I was actually watching Curtis stream yesterday, and this guy was like 5,000 coins. But we were on a bit of a roll there as well, so it's kind of frustrating that that is now finished. People are back from school as well now, so competition may be higher on this filter. We'll have to wait and see. Oh my god! No way! Oh, I got the orange line as well. I thought I was incredibly quick on that. Comparing this, this price as well, he seems to be around the same. Looks like all gold players are going for 3k plus, so... Kind of annoying we just missed two in two, like literally two searches there. Oh my days, Mendy now as well. This is crazy. How much is he going for? Okay, again, like all the gold players, 3k plus. I was quick on that one, I felt, but obviously not quick enough. This has turned into more of a bit of a rage now because I was on such a roll and since it's turned quarter past three, it just seems impossible to snipe these guys. Oh my god, Falcao as well. Fellas, I could be earning so many coins on this account right now. And it's again probably going to turn into another potato episode. Literally, I could be on 50k by now if I could snipe any of these gold Monaco players. Oh my god, there's two of them. I'm going to miss both, aren't I? So frustrating. One of them was 400 coins as well. Guys, I don't know what's going on. We started off like really potato, then we went through a decent spell of getting three on the row. Since then, we've missed like 10. And they've all been gold cards as well, which is kind of confusing. Um, obviously, like, there's more people searching for gold, I suppose, but it's weird how no more bronze and silver cards coming onto the market since it's gone. 3 p.m. I'm hoping a couple more will pop up and then we'll be able to get them instead because the gold ones right now are just impossible to snipe. Oh my days, I couldn't even get the silver player now. Like I was literally just saying, that's kind of weird, but again, a silver player popped up this time, and same results. I'm just not able to snipe any of these players right now. Oh, Debushi, there we go. Right, guys, I was really struggling on the Monaco players. I don't know what's happened, but it's literally been impossible to snipe them for the past 15 minutes, but now we've moved on to French gold right backs. And we've got a Debushi here, so they're selling for a minimum of 1,500 coins. We just managed to pick him up for 1k, so it's going to be around 500 coin profit per snipe. First search, 750 coins. Oh my god, I forgot to click A. It was there, saying, do you want to confirm this? Buy it now. Sanya, he'll have gone for even more than Debushi. And by the way, guys, managed to sell Debushi on for... 1,700, so above the 1.5, which I originally said players were selling for. But Bakary Sanya, that would have been a perfect way just to finish off the episode, really. 1,000 coins, and there we go. We managed to get Payet, I believe, from Southampton. Yeah, it was. So, obviously, the stats and everything are irrelevant. This guy is going to sell easily for 1.7k. So, uh, of course, I'll go list them up now. And again, another little bit of decent profit right there. 700 coins, it all adds up at the end of the day. 750 coins, oh my god, I was really quick. I'm not even going to lie, I thought that was probably one of the quickest snipes that I've done all episode. And I'm missing. Bakary Sanya, unless it loaded me in late, I didn't actually catch how much time was remaining on that. Let me see how much this guy's going for. 1.8 bid, so already higher than the other right backs that we've been sniping. Probably more around the 2k mark, I suppose, for Bakary Sanya. Oh, I've missed another one of him. 750 coins. The Bushi again this time. I'm really quick on these right now. I've got my sniping mechanics on point, I feel, but we're missing quite a lot of them. Um, even though this is actually easier at this moment in time, like during this time of day, um, this filter is easier than the Monaco one, it's evident that there's still quite a lot of people sniping these right backs. Right, so unfortunately, guys, these Bakary Sanyas are honestly driving me to insanity. Um, as you can see, in half an hour, we only managed to snipe five players. Probably in terms of players sniped, our most unsuccessful episode, but sniping is actually really good right now. 
I was kind of potato in this episode, and I don't know how I didn't get more of them in all honesty. I felt pretty quick, but evidently I wasn't. We only made 5,000 coins, but like I said, this was a very entertaining episode, or at least I hope it was for you guys anyway. Um, still nevertheless though, I hope you did enjoy. Unfortunately, there is an insane profit to be made on this squad builder challenge. Nothing like the previous ones that we have had in the past, such as the Ember Carney squad builder challenge, or at least the one that consisted of getting Ember Carney, where you can make basically 10k in one trade. In this one, basically the best you'll get is around 2,000 coins, but still, the majority of them you just make around 500 coins per snipe. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video nonetheless. We have, like I did mention at the start, could smash 1,800 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. Of course guys, if you are new around here and you have enjoyed this video, would also be appreciated if you could subscribe. But anyway, unfortunately does bring us to the end. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you next time.